one of the predictions from Einstein from relativity was the existence of gravitational waves. And what that basically says is when a gravitational wave passes by the Earth, for example, we get basically stretched and squeezed as this wave is passing. And what we do is we actually look for the stretching and squeezing of space. And now we're trying to build a detector which will allow us to measure the stretching and squeezing of the fabric of space-time as the gravitational wave is passing. So for LISA Pathfinder, what we're testing are the critical technologies which we cannot test on ground simply because the Earth's gravity would prevent us from making the measurement. So what we want to do now is to take a little gold platinum cube, it's a 46 millimeter lump of gold platinum, we launch it into space and we want to basically demonstrate that we know how to build a satellite which protects this little cube from all the noise of the solar system. And for that, what I mean is things like the sunlight, this, the, the light from the sun would push the cube away and we wouldn't be able to make our measurement. So we have to wrap the spacecraft around the cube and the spacecraft then acts as a shield to protect it from everything outside. The large LISA-like uh, mission will be three satellites separated by about five million kilometers forming an equilateral triangle. And what we do is we measure using lasers the distance in between the satellites and we compare one of the arms of a triangle to the other arm and we look for changes around about the size of an atom over the five million kilometers. And to put it in perspective, uh, five million kilometers is about 13 times the distance to the moon. And we have to measure that 13 times the distance to the moon to about the size of one atom. But we think we can do that. We think we know how to do that using laser interferometry. So if we look at some of the other European Space Agency missions which have flown recently, for example the, the Planck mission, one of the main results of Planck was to give us a, a list of what the universe is made of. And from that list we will hear that roughly 4% of the universe, only 4%, is made of the things which we know around about us. It's called baryonic matter. So the protons, the electrons, the neutrons, the things that make you, me, the Earth, the Sun, the stars. So that's 4% of all the stuff in the universe we can see. The other 96% is dark. We can, we'll never be able to see it through our standard telescopes. However, we do believe that some of this 96% of the universe will have a gravitational signature. Maybe with gravitational waves we'll be able to start observing this other 96% of the universe, which up until now is completely dark to us. We can't see it. When we open the gravitational wave window to the universe, we're seeing completely new objects, things which we have never been able to see before and never will be able to see using electromagnetic spectrum. So this is the, we're really on the cusp of observing the universe in a whole new way.